I have pressed my hem on my sleeve under um, three centimetres. The easiest way to do that on the iron is just to have a tape measure around your neck and as you're pressing it up you can just be checking that you've got the right um, three centimetre hem there. Now we're at the cover stitch machine. The cover stitch machine is used um, to hem stretch garments. It does two rows of stitching on the outside and this looper stitching on the inside. Um, so when you sew it, you actually have to have um, the hem or the right side of the garment facing up. So you, know, you don't actually see the hem. So to help us line um, all of this up, we've got this little guide here that we can set to a given measurement. And I set this, I'm just going to check it. At the moment, from the edge of the guide out to the um, second needle is um, set at three centimetres already for this exercise. If I use my, it might be easier to show you with a tape measure. Oh no, it's actually set on two and a half. So I want that to be set on three. So I'm just going to adjust that slightly. Now, I'm probably going to set it up at about 28 mil because you don't want to run off the edge of the fabric. So it's probably a better idea if you've got a little bit of extra fabric there. So I've set that for about 29 mil from the edge of the guide to the left hand side needle which is um, the outside edge of stitching. So once you've got that set up correctly, you can start to sew. So place your fabric, you shouldn't need to pin it if you've pressed it. Um, and the guide really does make it quite easy. So bring your edges together. Now on this particular machine, this is the left hand uh, cover stitch machine in the um, specialty machine room. There's actually two um, cover stitch machines in here. The left hand side one has an automatic cutoff in the pedal. So, um, and it also has uh, the lift for the foot is also in the pedal. So when the machine is turned on, if you heel back on the pedal, it will lift the foot so that you can position the work in underneath. And I'm just going to pop that in. Really important that you don't run off um, the fabric when you're sewing on this machine because the stitching will then start to loop around the looper and the machine won't sew correctly. So make sure you've always got fabric underneath. We want to start fairly close to the edge and just start sewing. And then just keep adjusting your work and checking that it's sitting nice and flat underneath. And just keep the folded edge of the hem up against the guide. And it really should just work well. Just check when you need to that it's sitting nice and flat. You should be able to feel it. Sometimes if you've got a light coloured fabric, like a white fabric, you can actually see the edge under there, which is always reassuring. But really you're just using the guide to um, make sure that it's sewing in the right spot. Now when you get to the end, don't run off the edge, but get right to the edge. And then if you heel back hard, it will cut the threads off and you can remove the work. And there it is, it's all finished. So yeah, we do want to start, you know, within this, what, whatever the seam allowance is on the edge of that. And that's the inside. As you can see, there's a little bit of extra fabric there. You can trim that back. Um, or you could unpick that and adjust the guide. I probably, um, it's probably too narrow for the three centimetres. Um, very easy to unpick uh, cover stitching um, thread and I'll show you how to do it. What you do is you go back to the end. So I sewed it from this end, so here's my end here. So to unpick it, all you need to do is you come about four or five stitches back and you just cut the thread, cut the needle thread on both of them and then unpick them out. So you might want to use an unpick, it's probably easier than this. Um, unpick the thread out and then when you turn it over to the looper side and you grab the looper thread it should just start unraveling. So you can see that's just all coming away really easily. 
Sometimes it might stop. If it does that, just give it a little bit of a pull and it should start up again. But it's not in this case. So if it does that, you might need to repeat that process. You can see the needle threads just unraveling. Um, so yeah, if it does get snagged, just repeat that process. Come down about four stitches and unpick the needle threads back and then you should be able to go back onto the looper side and just unravel that again and usually it will just go the whole way very easily very quickly um, and then i can repeat that change the guide and repeat it so it's very easy to correct cover stitching the machine it doesn't take a long cover stitch machine sewing. It doesn't take a lot of time. I'm just going to move that a couple mil more and then we'll try that again. So heel back to lift the presser foot and we want to start close to the edge. And then just keeping the folded edge of the hem up against the guide. to the end just cut off before you run off and that's that's a bit better there you can trim any excess back <coughs> if you want but that's that's pretty good and that's our hem done